And welcome back to the show. Bronx Community College will be hosting the 43rd annual Run the Bronx. The run is a community health event, including 10K and 5K runs, as well as a two-mile fitness walk. Now, Run the Bronx attracts over 2,000 participants annually. However, unlike the previous runs, this year will be different with a very special touch. Here to share a little bit more is one of the founders of Run the Bronx, the Honorable Joe Ramos, and coordinator for Run the Bronx, Robert Whalen. And uh, good to have you both here with us on the show. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And Robert, I'll start with you. Sure. Um, usually, as we said, we'll be running the Bronx, but this year, some a little different. This year, we are gonna go virtual because of the COVID and everything that's associated with that. We cannot start and end on the campus like we normally do. So we decided to go the virtual route, which now extends the run by a week. Normally it would be just on the first Saturday in May. Now we're extending it all the way to May 9th. Mm. The run on their treadmill, the park, their bike, at home, the gym, wherever they wanna run. And then you just upload the times and they get credit for it. Uh, Joe, this is an opportunity for uh, people to come together and talk about the event as a whole. As an alumnus, what does this event really signify? You know, first of all, I, I, want, I would like to uh, thank you for all the support that you have given us throughout the years. Uh, and because of your support and the publicity that we have received from your video shows and, and, and your program, you know, more people have learned about our activity and have joined our event. So thank you, thank you very much for your support. Oh, well, wow. this, what this, what this uh, event signifies is uh, how we were able to uh, integrate, or not integrate, uh, bring people together in this borough more so than any other institution in the city of New York. When you look, when you look at our event, you see a diversity and, and, and a tremendous rainbow of people from all over now. Now, just two years ago, now we started getting international runners coming to the Bronx. But, but most, most important is the fact is that we opened our gates to the people of the Bronx and we have everybody from the very young to the very, very old, and well, not as old as me, but coming to Bronx Community College and looking at our beautiful institution, which is a landmark in the city of New York. So every time I go there and I see all these people together, it, it really, really makes me feel like we've accomplished something and we are following with Roscoe's wishes. Yeah. And when we talk about Roscoe, we're talking about Roscoe C. Brown, the former president of Bronx Community College, also a board of director here at Bronx Net Television, and one that is actually instrumental and very responsible for me actually having my career here at Bronx Net Television, encouraging me uh, and telling me to stay where I am. And so uh, we always remember Dr. Roscoe C. Brown. Listen, Robert, uh, talk to me about this. In addition to this just being a run, uh, it's more than that, because when you look at the borough of the Bronx, a lot of health challenges, a lot of things they have to deal with, but this is also an invitation to healthy living. Yes, yeah, so one of the first things that Roscoe did when he started the run was he wanted to find a way to promote health in the borough. Uh, the original thought that he had was to run around the campus, and then a conversation between Joe, his Roscoe's son, Dennis, Professor Skinner, the other founder, was let's let's expand that to the borough itself and move into the community. So it started out as a 10K. We started adding the two-mile fitness walk just so that people could get started. And in 2010, they added the 5K. So it's been a continuous promotion of health. Well, if we were live, we'd also have a health pavilion and a run pavilion on campus with information about healthy living blood screening, uh, cholesterol screening, diabetes, things of that nature that we'd be able to promote to the community. Awesome. And uh, Joe, when you think about uh, those who participate uh, and you see, as you said, from the youngest to the eldest, give me a little bit about what the atmosphere is like for those persons who actually participate in this. You know, the, you should, you, 
uh, you, you have to be there to really witness how people come together, people talking to one another, people who normally pass each other in the street here at Bronx Community for the event. Everybody's talking with everybody. Not, not only that, but they develop friendships and they've developed all types of uh, relationships that they don't no normally do out in the street. And that's what really brightens my day. When you see all these people talking to one another, no matter what you look like, everybody is coming together as one. Beautiful. So Robert, let's give uh, yes. our viewers an opportunity to get it, to become a part. You know, if somebody's saying, listen, I want to be a part of this, what can they do? They can sign up. We have our website, which is Elite Feats. They're going to be doing the registration for us this year. You can see behind me, there's a QR code. They can uh, scan that code. It'll take you directly to the site and they can register to, to be on a part of our virtual run. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. And so what about uh, those? How do you determine winners and how, how do you determine who's going to win in this virtual run? Unfortunately, this year with virtual runs, the way they've all managed, the way we've seen them all be, been managed, it's on the honor system. So unless we have a set timer and a set description, we, we are not doing trophies this year. Everyone will receive a medal. Everyone will receive a gator slash a buff for their participation, but there will be no technical winner. Technically, everyone's a winner who, who completes the 5K or 10K because I'm not running a 10K. Right. But right. I could do a five. So everyone's a winner with, with our run. So, Joe, this is honestly the year that I can actually come in first place? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's good. It's good. It's good to know that. I mean, honestly, it's on the honor system. But truly, yes. um, you know, to have people to be able to participate, even though it's virtual, still speaks a lot. And so, to have those that are connected and wanting to run um, means a lot to you know yourselves, and then also to those who actually uh, actually participate. So, how long does it take for you to actually get your runners and put all this together? With the runners, uh, they have their set time to do the do the run. Uh, the hardest part for us is making sure that everything is in order and everything right now is in order. We're set. We can run tomorrow if we wanted to start. So we're ready. It's just a matter of getting more people signed up, more people registered and more people running. Let's increase our numbers and make sure that the Bronx is as highly represented as it can be. Well, I want to tell you, Robert, Joe, thank you so much for being with us on the show, hoping that the virtual run will be a tremendous success. We know it will. Uh, we've done it before. Uh, and, well, we've done the, re the run before, but doing it virtually, we believe that it'll be a great success, too. Thank you guys so much for coming and being with us here on the show. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Joe, good to see you. Now, listen, good if you want more you. information, yep, if you want more information, you can visit the website at bcc.cuny backslash forward slash run the Bronx. Let me say it again. bcc.cuny.edu forward slash run the Bronx. Well, we encourage you, please don't go anywhere. We do have more open. We're coming right back right after this. <laughs> 